Hello viewers and uh, welcome to Dungeons. Um, by popular request I've returned to doing dungeon videos and I did do a video for this but for some reason my voice didn't record so I've had to come back to it and redo it. But basically what I went over was some um, to get over some of the basic problems that um, that often occur for early gamers, which is um, especially in some of the first few levels of the uh, actual campaign. But in most importantly, what you're going to concentrate on is the sandbox um, games, custom modes is when you open up the gates and the heroes get all the loot and then they just leave and you haven't managed to get to them in time so you end up losing all of your stuff. The way you combat that is by doing this. Meandering. That's at least what I call it. This, by doing all, use doing this, like basically just like ramming as much, this particularly, just instead of doing straight lines, curl it all round. That way they've got much farther to go, you can lay down, you've got much more room to lay down traps to hinder them before you go back, and you can you can get their quick run to the quick, I mean look how quickly you run now, as you lock quicker than before I think, um, this is with the update. And you can catch up with them and destroy them, basically. But, um, before I go any further, this is one of the newer maps. Uh, it's, I can't remember what it's called, but it's uh, based on the catacombs. And I really like this one because normally you start off, in this map, you actually just start off with just this area. And, uh, it's really useful because you don't start off with. Um, you don't start off with any of those, you've literally got to work your way to get to them. Um, everything's equal, the heroes aren't linked, there's nothing's already starting. I mean, you get four of that, four of that. Um, you get a few basic creatures already. So it leaves you, leaves you free to just plan out what you can do. But, um, so I'm to the quickly go over some of the few things that I do um, in my dungeons. Mostly symmetry. I, I don't know why, just symmetry just seems just seems to look better in my opinion. I always like to keep um, this I'm planning to use this as a prison. I like to have my prison really close to that to um, like away from the gates and things. That is you might you may be looking at this and thinking, hang on, your prison's right there, but it's not because that gate leads away from it and kinda of come down here and all that all that nonsense. Um yeah so originally this was just a I came out here, dug out straight line that way, stopped about that distance. And then I then I expanded that into a bigger room here, thinking maybe a boss battle where I can use some more, more powerful creatures in. Maybe have one in each corner later. Um, possibly an armory library there, mainly because um, they're the, the harder to get to places that have really high content stuff in there. Um, then I dug in, dug into that way because I had these were two two thick walls and I like to have try and get one block wall so you can try and maximise your space so I can put gimmicks in, get more prestige. Um same thing there. Um then over here I start connecting up this so that's like the um, lobby kind of which I like to do for every single one like there's that's gonna be a small Lobby, but I just like have a little so the heroes as if you've been playing the games already sometimes they like to talk with the heroes so you give them a small space so they can like talk around 
and then you then you lead them off and cheat them too basically. But after that, yeah, they go off. Uh, maybe a small small introductory room. I don't know what that's going to be. That's other rooms there. But for the most part, I don't really I don't really have a big plan. I normally have an inner sanctum plan, but overall, I just make it up pretty much as I go along. Um, then this is like the main labyrinth hall here. They decide to go to this path. Um, obviously, most of my prestige stuff will be trying to try to go this way. This will be kicked out anyway. There will be harder creatures here to stop again and into there. They'll go around here to the escape route. Maybe um, future I can like try and make a quick route here. Open that up, open that up, put in a few traps on this bit to make it harder. Um, let's have a look around here. See a walk around. Cover more areas. So yeah, that's that's kind of what's been going on. That is a say. But uh, yeah, at the basically at the end of the day it's up to you how you build your dungeon, but this is just one technique I think meandering this is that I think would help newer players when um, dealing with those pesky heroes running away with all our good goods basically. It helps me a lot. Well, especially when you've got tons of things going on and you're not sure what's going on and having these long corridors full of gimmicks for not any and things like that oh, another good thing about being able to do this because as you set out your floor plan before doing anything that was nowhere near that man when I started this because I've managed to dig out so much got a good heavy stockpile of gold already just from just mining out but, um yeah that's pretty much it um please um, subscribe leave comments like the videos obviously if you want anything more specific you want help on please get in touch with me i can't help you unless you tell me what you want to know um i will be doing future updates of this exact same thing to show you what um how this dungeon has itself developed i'll show you and um show you what i've done with the place show you how the game is going on until next time this is about it thank you very much for watching bye bye